Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here, and today we are doing lesson 9.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. It is called Relating Hundreds and Decimals. So if you watch the video for 9.1, this is just taking it a little bit further. We did relating tenths and decimals. So this time we're just changing the tenths to the hundredths. So what it's going to require us to do in these lessons is it's going to give us a fraction and it's going to ask us, and the fraction is going to have a hundred on the bottom because we're doing hundredths and it's going to ask us to write that fraction as a decimal. So let's read the problem. In the 2008 Summer Olympic Games, the winner, the winning time in the men's 100 meter butterfly race was only one one hundredth of a second faster than the second place time. What decimal represents that fraction of a second? So in other words, how do we write one one hundredth as a decimal? Okay, so we got the same ways as lesson 9.1. We've got a model and a place value chart, and we've also got a number line. So this time our model, instead of being broken up into tenths, it's broken up into 100, and we only have one 100, so we're only going to shade in one tiny little hundredth block. So that is written 1 over 100, and you say that 1 hundredth. And so then we take that information, we put it in the decimal chart, and they've already done it for us. There's nothing in the ones place. We don't have a whole thing filled up. And there's no tenths. We didn't fill up a whole line, meaning a tenth. We only have one hundredth. So that's written as 0 0.01. If you watch the video for lesson 9.2, I told you an easy way to look at this is if you're trying to change this into a decimal, there's zero in the ones place, so there's nothing before the decimal point. And then this number that's on the top needs to end in the hundredths place. So tenths, hundredths. It's a one. It ends in the hundredths place. That's all that we have as far as information goes up here, so we're just going to put a zero in the tens place. Okay, so that's the first way. Second way is using a number line, and they've already done the top for us. They've got zero, one hundredths, ten one hundredths, twenty one hundredths, thirty, and on and on and on. We're looking at just one one hundredths. It's way back here, this first little dot, and they've already filled it in for us. They start with 0, 0.00, then they do 0, 0.01, and they've told us that 0 0.01 names the same amount as 1 one hundredth. So the winning time was only 0 0.01 seconds faster. So you can see here this pattern. You could continue to fill in this chart. They're counting by tens. So that would be 0 0.30, 0 0.40, but we really don't need that information because our fraction is way up here in the beginning of the number line. Okay, so if you're in my class, you should have filled out page 347 as we were going through that video. Now we're flipping over to the back, and it's page 348. We're going to try another way to do these. This time we're doing, they're giving us a mixed number. And we're going to have to write that as a decimal. So Alicia won her 400 meter freestyle race by 4 and 25th one hundredth seconds. How can you write this mixed number as a decimal? So the first way here is our model. So 4 and 25 hundredths. So that means 4 holes that we are going to color in. 4 whole hundredths. And... 25 hundredths. So 10, 20, and then five of those little ones. It's hard to see on my picture, I know, but you would color in 25 little boxes here. So that's written just like they gave it to us in a mixed number four and 25 hundredths. And you say that in words four and 25 hundredths. Okay, so we would take that information, we put it into the place value chart. There are some whole numbers in front. It was a four, four holes in front of the decimal point. 
and then we had 25 in the hundreds place. Now remember my trick, I told you this last digit needs to end in the hundreds place. So the five is the last digit and the two goes in front of it. You can see here there were two full tens that were filled in. That's how we get that two. And then five extra little ones here, that's how we get the five hundredths. So that's written 4.25 and you would write that in words the same way as you did up here, four and 25 hundredths. Okay, so that's the first way to write a mixed number as a decimal. You can also use a number line. They've filled in the top for us, four and zero hundredths, four and 10 hundredths, four and 20 hundredths. They marked four and 25 hundredths for us four and thirty hundreds, four and forty, and so on and so on. So what we need to do is fill in these bottom numbers. And remember, we're counting by tens here. See, there's tens on the top. So 4 .0, 4.10, 4.20, 4.30, 4.40, and I'm going to stop there because we've already passed our number. We don't really need any more information. Okay, so when I look down here at my decimals, I've got 4.20 here and 4.30 here. My number is right in between 20 and 30, which would be 4.25. So then you just rewrite that down here. 4.25 names the same amount as 4 and 25 hundredths. So Alicia won her race by 4.25 seconds. Okay, so just to recap, today's lesson is writing fractions and mixed numbers with one hundredths as decimals. So let me just give you an extra little bonus problem here to help you out. Let's pretend like we had nine hundredths, and they wanted you to write that as a decimal you'd have to have your nine ending in the hundredths place. So there's no whole numbers in front of the decimal. Here's my tenths place, here's my hundredths place. I've gotta put that nine into my hundredths place. And there's nothing else in front of it, so I just put a zero. Okay, let's pretend like we had 10 one hundredths. And I'm supposed to write that as a decimal. There's nothing in, as in the ones place, there's no whole numbers in front. I have to have the last digit of this number, the last digit's a zero, ending in my hundredths place, tenths, hundredths. I put the zero there, and I'll put the one in front of it. So that's how you write 10 in the hundredths place. Okay, if you are in my class, you should have filled out page 347 and 348. If not, um, write down the password clock in your planner so your teacher can see that you watched this video. And if you have any questions, leave me a message. Thanks.